an object thrown at a certain angle to the ground moves in a curved path and uh, falls back to the ground. The initial and the final points of the uh, path of the object lie on the same horizontal line. What is the work done by the force of gravity on the object? Okay, before going into the explanation, first uh, I read the definition of the work done. Work done by gravity that will be force of gravity into displacement along the direction of gravitational force. So here you have to be very careful that uh, the force of gravity is acting in the downward direction means what is the displacement that is along the vertical direction. The vertical displacement I want to I want to take it into account. So in this problem a object is thrown at a certain angle. So it takes a parabolic path and fell down after uh, some after some, some time. Uh, now this is going to be called as the horizontal displacement. Horizontal displacement. So uh, we know the displacement uh, is nothing but uh, the starting point, the line connecting the starting point and the end point. So uh, this is the starting point S, this is the end point E and the line connecting the starting point and end point that is going to be taken as the displacement. Here it is taken as the horizontal displacement. So we know that uh, suppose the vertical displacement if you try to calculate it, in the, the, I am drawing a vertical line. Initially the ball vertically rises to a certain height and then it is returned back to the same point. So in the vertical displacement the starting point and the end point lying in the same. Okay, so actually the displacement is going to be zero. The horizontal displacement I have some value, but uh, vertical displacement that will be equal to zero. So for calculating the work done, what I need is the force of gravity. The force of gravity is acting in the downward direction and the vertical displacement, I want to take it into account, but the vertical displacement, uh, if I take, that will be equal to zero because the starting point and end point, the vertical axis, no, this is going to be so. First, when the, the ball is thrown, it will be slowly moving up, up, up. It reaches the maximum. So, and uh, when it is uh, the first half, no, it will be reaching the maximum. And the second half, automatically, the ball returns down and uh, comes to the same point. So, the vertical displacement that will be equal to zero. So, since the displacement that will be equal to zero, so the work done is also taken as zero. Subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for important updates.